Uh, last note I want to make about the SEC, and you guys tell me if you think I'm insane here. Um, Arkansas is currently 22 to one to win a national title. Arkansas, when they're at their best, when they have their best five on the floor, has five NBA players on that fl- on the court. They have as much length and a, as a, an athleticism as anybody. They probably have minimum three, maybe four, potentially five first round picks. I think they could even have two top ten picks on their team in Nick Smith and Anthony Black. Um, is that a recipe to win a national championship? I with the the transfers, it is, yeah. But I I do think that when you put Nick Smith out there with Anthony Black, with Ricky Council, with Jordan Walsh, who has no problem doing like if if Jordan Walsh took no shots and just spent the entire game guarding the other team's best player and going to get off three months and being a a, a lob target, Jordan Walsh wouldn't care. Like he's he's wired like that, which is why he's a perfect fit for him, Javon Brazil is a perfect fit for the role that they're being asked him to play because all he wants to do is catch and shoot threes, catch lobs, and maybe face up and go by somebody once in a while. And then you have three dudes that thrive in this, these roles that Musk wants him to play where he just goes and finds whatever the mismatch is and goes to that over and over and over again. If Nick Smith has a mismatch, he's going to get 20 shots this night. If it's Anthony Black, he's going to get 20 shots. If it's Ricky Council, he's going to get the 20 shots. And they have the length and athleticism to be able to guard and be switchable and do all these different things. I Unless that thing comes tumbling down and and there's a real chance this year that it, it kind of does end up come tumbling down. But uh, if unless that happens, like they they are the to me, the most talented team in college basketball. And I don't yeah. know necessarily all that close. And you can get them 22 to one odds right now. To me, that's insane. At Bet Rivers, 22 to one odds. That that's, means bet a hundred dollars, you win twenty two hundred dollars. That's crazy. That's not bad. Not bad. Hey. Can, can we go back to Starkville for a second? Because I built it because I was part of a team that built the Chipotle down there. So I want to really pour it on thick. So look at their style of play. Wait, what? Yep. You're part of a yep. team that built a Chipotle in Starkville. Yeah, we built it. We built a Chipotle down in Starkville. You're welcome, Starkville. <laughs> I no longer am part of that Chipotle. That was so random. That Sold was... that Chipotle. Sold oh, that Chipotle. And you want Listen to pour and you want to pour it on thick. I want to pour it on thick. So look at this. Here's the thing. I'm They're thinking off- like the Chipotle sour cream. Go ahead. It's Go very ahead. good. It's very good. I love Chipotle. But here's here's the thing, guys. Like, <laughs> look at their offensive ranking. They're 75th in the country. They're 75th in the country. There's a lot of misses involved when you're the 75th offensive in the country. And you play a slow tempo. You're 340th in the country in tempo. And you're getting 41% of those misses. That is a recipe for success if you're going to play bully ball. Like I, I like this Mississippi State team. They could win a they could win a game. They could win a game in the tournament. Mm-hmm. I, well, game. I think they can win. I, I I think that there's the the real possibility if the matchups are right, they can get to a sweet 16. We've seen Chris Jans pull off upsets before. 